Hi there, and uh, welcome back to Gone Home. Let's continue. I just can't wait. It's been actually a while. Pretty much a week for me. Didn't have... What the heck? <laughs> Didn't really have time. But... I'm glad to be back. Wait, is this the last room I have investigated? I'm pretty sure I read that. I... Hey... There are some numbers written, but there's only three... I don't know. There's probably a note I have missed. There must be... I bet the answer to the code of this is somewhere inside this room. It must be, right? By the way, who took the console? Ah, it must have been taken by someone who owned it, right? Okay, I forgot I can do that. and clothes on both ways. This is convenient. Damn, I'm pretty sure I checked that. Damn, even the fork is lying. Come on, girl. You need to clean the stuff. Or it's just. It looks like there's something, you know, underneath there, but. Okay. It's annoying. <laughs> I, l I like the ambient more. Wait, just a sec. I'll think. Eh. I'll add a little bit more sound here. Danger. Wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room. Wait, uh, right, it's, it's the same room. Um, hey! Sasai Simni. Do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to be to cook dinner for us tonight for for a change. But I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? I'm going to barf? Am I going to barf? Uh, ew, that picture. <laughs> According to Dot, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a hearing needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Is it really? Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd um, wants to see it again. 115, okay? Don't barf. 
<laughs> All right, see you then. Try not to barf. Can't promise that. Lonnie rules. Sure. Okay. Only one. Oh, uh, what the fuck? This must be a paint or something. Wild color red right hand. Semi-permanent hair color. Not tested on animals original formula. I knew that for some reason. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Well, I guess it is quite intimate but then again if it was really that intimate you know you wouldn't be going to the hairdresser so <laughs> I guess this one's broken oh well it sucks Music for the planet, featuring earth, wind, and fi fire, and Willie Nelson. Okay. Another one of these. What is coaster? Is it for... Mm, Putting cups on it. Oh, oh, barf. <laughs> Is this mm, the room of my parents? <laughs> well, it's Good to know they're safe, right? <laughs> lots of jeans. Like, lots. Okay. Hey, someone needs to fix stuff in this place. If it's my parents' room, it's strangely not clean. Hi. <laughs> Oh, Mirren. Where is the kitten? What that's called Mitten. Someone really likes to steal stuff. But Cassidy these time can Sundance kid the Fugitive, all the residents men. Don't know these. Bridge on the river. Quay. Silence of the lambs. Well, this one I'm definitely watching. But 
<laughs> That's the only thing I do recognize. Gun with the wind. Okay. Something also familiar. Okay, these are really hard to read for me. Oh, what a nice family. So cute. <sighs> a letter. Dear Jan. Oh, honey, let me tell you I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever directing him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this control burn that sounds like quite the adventure, but let's cut to the chase. This new... Uh, oh, sorry. This new... Mm, Nanger? What is that? Ranger? N Ninja? They sent... That's what I want to hear about. A ranger reek? You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait. That sounded wrong. <laughs> what? Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. Slump? And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Carol. Okay. I thought it was a letter from her mom or something. You know, kid's grandmother. <clears throat> There's lots of binders in this house. Why do we even ha uh, need so many? Hey, the light was on when I came here, so... Someone was here? Watercolor technique for florals and still lives. Whole book! Is someone... into painting in my family? Yeah, this must be a bedroom of my parents because of a letter. In here. And there's like a lot of what the hell? My parents are really untidy. Oh wow. Look at that. Looks amazing. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it you can use my room if you want i won't be needing it anymore sam huh she left the house for good This was supposed to be my room? And why would they make up the room for me? Like, I left for only one year. And they what? They they changed my the room I've been at? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, what did they do with my initial room? Hey, Sam. You were asking what my... Uh, I wrote ribbons meant. Okay. Here is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. 
rifle team. The army has branded me as the certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a burn adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. <laughs> Lonnie. It is cool. Even to me. And I'm a grown up, pretty much. Examine composition book. Ghost Hunter Journal? Samantha Green Pryor. Sighting Journal. August 31, 94. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. <laughs> you should have. September 3rd. Um, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello? Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9. Poured milk from carton in the free in fridge it was spoiled pretty sure i read that spirits can sour milk milk was just brought yesterday ah <laughs> moo <laughs> i get it okay october 9 lonnie says she feels a presence in the tv room I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. October 22. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. October 28. Um, enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help Petrol premises recording any signs of other worldly presence. Otherworldly, okay. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in Athic, probably due to leaky roof. Uh, sample taken, just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. So, is this place haunted? That's great to know. <laughs> okay. That's all my stuff. They actually packed it, but wasn't I really just going away for the time being why did they just pack up my stuff and they pretty much cleaned my room and now i was supposed to stay in guest room and they did prepare it for me because i didn't announce my coming back uh like in advance amazing that's an attic i'm afraid Hey, someone is a painter. Nice. Performance evaluation. Exemplary. Wow. Knowledge and skill, communication, work ethic, safety procedures, function, uh, punction, punctuality overall. Janice Greenbrier. Ah, it's a supervisor. Name Richard Pattermark. Pa pa so, why is it in my house? Shouldn't it be in at Richard's possession? Ranger Pattermark um, has been in this 
compensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding, deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging con conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's uh, continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Hey, is this my mom's work? Amazing. Ah. Halloween show. The misfits. They are awesome. Don't forget your costume. Teaching lounge. See there. L. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes, and then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Well, I guess when your tears are about to start, it's just it's easy to tell. Is she drawing this? Wow. It looks better in the picture for sure. <laughs> Hey, what is that? Heavens to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. what my mother was listening while picturing this. <laughs> Healthy choices, skills for healthful life. Lonnie. Holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? A library. Oh my god, I have got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Closet. Wait, so is it from the closet? from my mom's room or sewing room secret passage marked on the map so I need to go to my mom's bedroom hmm What is this? <laughs> Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume? My costume. Al. Wow, what a nice picture. 
Hey, that's her outfit. It, it is. Was it for the Halloween? Awesome. Nice. Really nice. It's empty, isn't it? Didn't I already have this... thing? Oh, the sewing machine. Did mom make the outfit for me? That's amazing. I don't have those skills, unfortunately. Also, it's cool how it's just hidden inside the... How does it fit in there? Wow. Magic. Magic. Before I go... Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Damn it. Of course it's locked. And the red lights are on. This must be it, right? Okay. <gasps> Wait, I didn't enter the bedroom. I kind of missed it. I was like, what the hell a bedroom there there is? <gasps> this house is huge. Uh After the honeymoon. What? Rediscovering your spouse, personally, spiritually, sexually. <laughs> Reverend Alexander Michaels. It may seem inevitable that the spark you and your spouse shared on your honeymoon should fade over time, but it doesn't have to be. Reverend Alex Michaels will show you how to rekindle the fire you once had. That's actually sweet. Part 1 provides simple steps to reopen the lines of communication between you and your spouse, allowing you to face the problems you share as parents instead of rivals. True, that's how it's always supposed to be. Part 2 leverages the reverence decades of service to God, helping you connect with a higher power. You will draw strength from a spiritu spirituality you may not even know you have. Part 3 offers a number of fresh and exciting ideas for the bedroom, including a few things that may surprise you. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Ah. It, at least your parents are trying to go through hard times together, and that's what matters. Like, of course, the life is not all about rainbows and, you know, there are sometimes clouds. But if you hold together, you will get over it. Huh. Wow, now it gets creepy. Is there a way to turn on the lights? Okay. Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie Secret, House Investigation Log, Hidden... Uh, Compartments found three library upstairs hall foyer Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero the search continues Hidden compartments marked I have to find them It's Hmm. 
they found three. One on the two on the first floor, and do I have to find them? Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Hmm. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> Look what I found. Japan's bloody war and dumb. Okay. Really, Dad. Really. Okay. One in the dad's out, out of the dad's office. Somewhere around here. I think it's here. What is that? Second tape second combo scrap? Private, do not read the green glacier. Samantha Greenbrier, ninth grade. Heaven at the edge of the world. Allegra and her scouting party peer down verily. I can't read this. This is too hard for me. You can read it yourself. 51. Three times stop at. Turn passing first. Half of Sam's locker combo added to backpack. Ah, okay. Thank God it's added that I don't have to actually write it down. And the final one must be in the final secret compartment, which is on the second floor. So let's go there. Can I... Like, can I run? I guess I can't. Um, okay. Uh, here. Yes. This one. Hey, this is easy. Ouija board. I'm definitely not picking it up or using it. Can I combine items? Okay. Hello? Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want? To come back? That's the right road down the answers and questions. Okay. So, Oscar wants to come back from the dead. That's good to know. <laughs> That's scary as hell. 
Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not playing this. Okay, we have the combo, I guess. To open. No, how can I check it? The completed combination for the locker in Sam's room. First turn first number turn right three times stop at first number turn left one number to stop one full turn passing first number to stop at second number turn right and stop at third number pull shackle oh that's not gonna be easy that's for sure <laughs> uh, what <laughs> will I be able to look at it at the Wait. This is some like uh. Yeah, it's easy. You don't have to do anything special there just and put the the number. Okay, thank god. <laughs> because I'm, I was too stupid for that. What is that? Gosh, Sam. Oh. Gillian Anderson? That's not her. It's just a random chick. <laughs> but oh well. Like father, like daughter? <laughs> Hey, there's a key. Hey, Lonnie. Looks cute. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> I saw it coming. Well, at first I thought Lonnie was a bad girl. Like, she's gonna... I don't know... You know, lie to my sister and treat her really badly in the end but seems like they didn't like each other that's bad and we have a basement key finally not that I really really do want to go there I mean it's scary but still I can't wait to go and uh, stop what do you mean locked 
Use the key. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Basement is somewhere else. By the way, where's the basement? Ah, I remember. Okay. Sorry, I always confuse basement and the attic. Because both are extremely creepy to me. Some clean up. Uh. Hello. <laughs> I'm too afraid of darkness. This is like hell to me. opens the back and doesn't finish it like come on <laughs> dear Samantha I would like to cordial cordially thank you for having me to your abode uh, for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny. Uh, how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> Very cordially yours. Your close friend and uh, something else, Lonnie. <laughs> Fancy man, quite. <laughs> Is this my father? Dear Miss DeSoto. Who's that? Lonnie. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for uh, being such a gracious host of festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents your family's thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events i must say one especially appreciated the time i spent with your grandmother who is a lovely woman with stare something to uh, taste and uh, I a refined air air what <laughs> um, let's do it again some time next year shall we indeed madame Samantha Greenbrier indeed okay <laughs> they are funny girls Oh, these teenagers. Examine drawing. S plus L. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night or it's just quiet and we're alone we say I love you oh I have a feeling I know why she left the house parents found out right and they weren't happy about that furnace Damn. 
real furnace in the house. Like, I've never seen anything like this in real life. So, having a house like this is like a fantasy to me. Reed College. Dear Samantha, congratulations! I am pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 95th session. We believe you have much to contribute to Reed College community based on your portfolio and academic record. I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer programs tuition and fees. The attached documentation uh, delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices, and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the three read full-time undergraduate scholarships to be award awarded to exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all of us at Reed College. Julie Morris, Director of Admissions. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Really? Fourteen K gold heart pendant in two halves. Customizable with up to 10 letters, names, dates, initials, anything you can dream up. Gift boxes, imported. <sighs> Unbelievable, it works. <laughs> really? A letter from Grandad. Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognized my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalization if that which he holds dear of of that which he holds dear and that which he fears and in this respect i believe your work was successful but the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible Dimestor science fictional diac day ex machina. Wow, his father should write stuff in instead of him. The great authors speak of their lives milieu in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre 
will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifact uh artifice you can do better with the father's love and encouragement Richard Greenbrier PhD Ouch this must hurt I think that's mom's ci citizenship stuff. Okay. She looks beautiful. Where is this leading to? Beautiful. Hi Sam, I'm writing it from Mothoma Falls. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm here on the stupid class tree, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come. Hell. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. I know it better than you, I'm older. My son's pharmacy changes hands. Huh? Is this like a secret passage? So where is it leading to? Wait. I'm confused. Is it, it's another secret? Okay. Before we check that place, there is actually another room here it even has a bed what the hell is this place girl scout the band formerly known as sub scout C cup scout set list role model authority main squeeze telling stories Instruction first made itself. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. She's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. So 
Sun Wold Fine Jewelry. Name Samantha Greenbrier. Two half heart pendant. Custom engraving L plus S. She paid for it. They really like their heavy numbers. No, no, no. I need to read stuff. It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night. I woke up and Loni was kissing me. What? No! I want to read that! Not reading any more of that. Nope! Oh, I got it on the camera, dudes. <laughs> you can pause and read, and I'm gonna do that too. But damn it, I can't. This this is a, like not not cool. Wow. <laughs> nope. Yes, I know. I no. Yes, you know you want it. <laughs> okay. Yolanda de Sa Soto Miss Samantha Greenbrier I huh? Boone County, that's the address Mexico, is that where hmm. First Am I supposed to find a secret passage here again? <laughs> oh, come on! I don't know the combination. It doesn't work. This is creepy. Huh? Grab toy. Wow, that's very old. I don't have the combination, I guess I'll have to find it somewhere else. Sam's room's lock also had the answer somewhere else, so that's a lot to read. That's a light to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so la that's her thoughts. Psycho house girl, cool stuff about being the psycho house girl. glitched through the table or something. Sulk? Of course, another cassette. That's a lot of it. Good fellow senior high school, dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. I showed initiative and was well it showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss De Soto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she did defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same of yours to yours is immaterial. 
as to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said... They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. No, played. This music is cool and stuff, but yeah. Grab label? Girl justice? No. What? Okay. Girl, girl justice? Creepy. Where the hell is this? This part even has... I don't get it. How? What? <gasps> it's behind a locked door. Right. I was about to say, if it's hidden, why it has furniture? Uh, it's not hidden, it was just close. Salon Josephine. Shampoo, set, color, per, manicure, Jan. Mums. Hey Loni, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she's home she takes it out on you like because you are not a member of the family and she know she knows you won't call her on it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free willing lifestyles I feel sorry for you I'm lucky my mom lives in the Florida you have to have a mom every day oh. sorry I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that I know I shouldn't complain no I'm being serious my mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband Dawn is a complete fool or tool. Living in the Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. I have a feeling like she's not totally serious here. Order of Promotion? Bruce Pendleton, Head of Personnel Estate, Dear Hat Conservationist Greenbrier, due to your... It's my mom, huh? Good job, mom. Good job. Where is the lights turned on? Here. I found it. Uh, 
it's a ticket. Why is it just there? Slide door. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in me me Mexico. And it was like three bucks. American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Is there a skull in that box? I hope not. <laughs> this is creepy. Wow. Grab mom's purse. Why would you do that? Don't do that. It's dark in here like hell. Hi, Jen. I go to tickets for EFWF. Re Wait, who's Reach? Reach. Is that a boy? Mom. What the hell, Mom? Seriously. Disciplinary referral. Samantha. Disturbing inappropriate. Matin something on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension. Four days. That's uh, a lot. I never understood how suspension actually works. Like, isn't it the best thing when you don't have to go to school? <laughs> I'd be happy. Hi, mom, dad, and Sam. Uh, the Vatican is uh, weird. As you can see, the Catholic, Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. Uh, ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatella and the rest of Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciate the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably came, come to next stop Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull, probably. Love, Katie. God, no butts in heaven. Wait, what? <laughs> um, but there is butt right there. Okay, you know what? Actually, I feel like this is getting a little bit longer than I thought it will be. I've already played another game today, so I like to call it today. I'm also kind of tired and <laughs> hungry. Yeah, let's leave the rest of the house for the next part. I don't even know how lo how big this house is because I feel like it's endless and I, I love about it. Uh, uh, don't do that. That's not cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and I see you in the next part. Bye.